Hello, the name of this video is Foods to Eat During Radiation Treatment. My name is Marnie Clark and I'm a breast cancer survivor and a breast cancer coach. If you are going through or are about to go through radiotherapy, I have some really important information for you in this video, so please make sure you stay tuned right to the very end so you don't miss anything important. I'm sending a big virtual hug to anybody who's going through radiotherapy for breast cancer right now. If that's you, Leave me a comment down below the video. I'd love to know uh, if I can help you. Um, so you've got a breast cancer diagnosis and you're searching for information about food or what things you should be having while you're going through radiotherapy treatments. I can definitely help you with that. Um, here's what I would recommend for anyone who is about to go through radiotherapy right now and uh, what they should be eating. Drinking plenty of filtered water is important when you're going through radiotherapy, which is hard on the tissues of your body. You definitely want to avoid getting dehydrated, so try to drink at least two liters of filtered water per day. To the water, you could also add a couple of slices of lemon because vitamin C helps to protect the cells of your body from the ravages of radiation. Juicing is one of the very best things you can do for yourself. It's an excellent way to get important plant-based nutrients into your body, many of which are radioprotective and help to reverse cancer processes. When things are radioprotective, it means that they help to protect the cells of your body from the damage that radiation can do to cells. Does this mean that the radiation won't work as effectively? More on that in a minute. First, I want to share with you which things you can be juicing that will really help you through radiation. Here's a big long list of them. Apples, apricots, beets, bell peppers, berries, all kinds of berries, cantaloupe, also known as rock melon in some parts of the world, carrots, celery, cherries, cruciferous vegetables like broccoli, kale, cauliflower, yes, you can juice them, cucumbers, dandelion greens, ginger, grapes, honeydew melon, kiwi, lemons and limes, mangoes, nectarines, oranges, parsley, passion fruit, peaches, pears, pineapple, plums, pomegranates, spinach, strawberries, turmeric, and wheatgrass. Those are all uh, very good things to be juicing and all radioprotective. Now about that question. The question is, do phytonutrients and supplements also protect cancer cells and or keep radiation from working? That gets asked a lot. Many radiation oncologists tell us not to take any supplements or antioxidants during chemotherapy and radiation. Has that happened to you? If so, leave me a, class, uh, sorry, leave me a comment below. The thinking behind that recommendation is that by taking particular supplements, uh, this will protect the cancer cells along with healthy cells. However, to my knowledge, there is not one single study that shows this effect, and I've read dozens of studies on the subject. The studies I've read consistently show that nutrients such as vitamins A, C, and E, beta carotene, selenium, B vitamins, vitamin D3, vitamin K3, and glutathione, either singly or in combination, do not interfere with therapeutic modalities for cancer. What's more, these things were found to enhance the cancer cell killing ability of chemotherapy and radiation while at the same time decreasing their side effects and protecting healthy tissue. Now, back to juicing. I don't recommend bottle juices because they are heat treated and you won't get the nutrients your body needs. Freshly prepared juices using a masticating style juicer like the one in the picture is best. I have clients juicing all the way through their radiotherapy treatments. This helps them to detox along the way, boosts immunity, protects healthy cells, and helps the radiation work better. When you're juicing, the lovely plant-based nutrients go directly to your body cells. They require very little energy to digest, juices are easy to swallow, and you can customize your selection of vegetables and fruits to suit your own palate. So if you don't like the first result, just try again until you get something palatable that you do like. It is really important that you be juicing organically grown vegetables and fruits whenever possible. This is really important because your body is already under threat from the, the cancer and the treatments and you don't need to be detoxing anything else. For more tips on juicing and what is best to juice, visit my website. I've left a link for this particular article for you below. 
Also, loads of fresh fruits and vegetables, including garlic and onions. While you're going through radiation, you want to eat plenty of fresh organic fruits and vegetables, as fresh and brightly colored as possible because they contain things like quercetin, vitamin C, hesperidin, which studies have shown are radioprotective, and as an added bonus, these also help to fight breast cancer. Here's a tip. If it stains your fingers, it has extra special cancer eradicating powers. Iodine rich foods. We have dozens of studies which demonstrate the radioprotective properties of iodine. Iodine is often recommended for breast cancer patients due to the protective effects it also has on the breast. In addition, iodine is protective to the thyroid and helps to guard the thyroid against radiation damage by decreasing radioactive toxins that might be stored by the thyroid. Uh, Iodine-rich foods include sea vegetables like kelp, seaweed, nori, kombu, wakame, also chlorella, fulvic acids, nascent iodine, reishi mushrooms, kale, whole grains, green beans, spring greens, and organic strawberries. Green smoothies are another excellent way to get some anti-cancer ingredients into your body, and the recipe I'm about to share with you has radioprotective ingredients in it as well. Leave the dairy products out of this, though. They are a known breast cancer risk. Just grab a food processor or one of those smoothie makers. The Nutribullet is a good one. Here's the recipe, so if you want to, uh, pause the video and copy it down and have this for breakfast before you go to your radiotherapy appointment. So that's the uh, that's my my best smoothie recipe. I think you'll enjoy that one quite a lot. I'm not going to read out all those ingredients. I'll just let you copy it down if you wish. Black tea, green tea, and white tea. They all contain something called polyphenols, which not only fight against breast cancer but also have radio protective benefits. You could add in peppermint leaves or lemon slices, orange slices, ginger. All of them will add vitamins and have radioprotective action. Olive oil contains a polyphenol known as hydroxytyrosol, which has anti-cancer properties, is a potent antioxidant, and protects healthy cells from radiation-induced DNA strand breaks and apoptosis, which is cell death. Probiotics. They help to replace beneficial gut bacteria that radiotherapy can kill off. Probiotics also help to boost the immune system, 70 to 80% of which resides in the intestines. Here's a big long list of radioprotective herbs. I'm not going to name them all, uh, but here's the list. You can copy it down if you wish. Because we don't have much research to know exactly the doses required for the radioprotective effects of these herbs, it's always good to work with someone who is certified in herbal medicine. Foods to avoid during radiotherapy. Heavily salted foods, very spicy foods, dairy products, alcohol, highly processed food like canned soups and lunch meat, and undercooked foods like sushi and shellfish. It's too easy to pick up foodborne illnesses and your immune system will struggle hard fighting against it when you're going through radiotherapy. And whenever, whatever you do, avoid like the plague those cans of Ensure, those meal replacement drinks. In a single can of Ensure, you'll encounter loads of sugar, bad carbs, GMOs, synthetic vitamins, maltodextrin, um, all sorts of bad stuff. Preservatives, fillers, chemicals, you, you absolutely don't need any of that in your body. Ensure has nothing to do with nutrition. Here's another tip for you. While some radiation patients won't uh, experience very many side effects at all, some will from the radiation therapy. And uh, side effects can occur as soon as the, the day of the treatment and sometimes not until weeks or months after the treatment is finished. So uh, radiation is only supposed to work on cancer cells, but we all know that it affects healthy cells as well. And you can experience various and different side effects. And if you are experiencing any really uncomfortable side effects, talk to your radiation oncologist and know that you have the right to stop this treatment any time you deem necessary. So breast cancer patients quite
quite often experienced as a side effect, something I like to call the burned boob. It's known as radiation dermatitis, and it is not nice. Now, um, I have an article on my website that contains a recipe for things that you can put together to put on your skin, both before and after radiation therapy. And it won't protect the, the cancer cells, but it will protect your skin from this burned boob. And trust me, you don't want that. Um, it's a really important thing to do for yourself and for everyone who follows this recipe, they have absolutely no problems. So that's an important thing for you to know. I'll put the link down below this video so you know how to find it. So I hope you liked the video. I hope you found it useful. And if you did, please leave me a comment uh, below the video. I'd love to hear from you. And I just want to say to you that there are a lot of things to know about healing from breast cancer and you can't possibly know everything. It is my honor and my mission in life to help you through this journey. Many women have said to me, Marnie, you completely turned it around for me. Thank you so much. I don't know what, have, what I would have done without your help. Now, be that as it may, all you need to do is sign up for my newsletters. Um, they, uh, the link is right below this video. It is my duty and my honor to help you through this. Please don't spend hours of your precious time searching the internet, which is full of conflicting information, when you could just be spending that time healing. Thanks for watching the video.